here. You okay. Stop filming because you don't have a waiver to film me. I don't need a waiver. Listen, film me. he doesn't want you on his property. If you refuse to leave, we're going to take you to jail. How's it going, guys? I'm against it press. And we are coming to you today from Henderson, Nevada. Uh, we are at the post office here in Henderson, uh, which is on Horizon Ridge Parkway. And uh, we're just gonna pay a little visit on these folks here today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Um, of course, I am out with Watching Watchmen today. And uh, let me see if I can give you a view of the neighborhood. I'm gonna lift my uh, monopod up here. See if I can get you a little higher up. Sorry, that might not have been the smoothest neighborhood look, but I had my uh, monopod fully extended. And uh, today is time of temperature check. Saturday, January 30th, it is 12.58 in the afternoon, and it is 56 degrees and sunny in beautiful Henderson, Nevada. All right, so let's take a look, walk up here and see if we can find the uh, employee entrance slash loading dock in the back here. So here's your uh, employee parking to the right there. Loading dock over here to the left. Oh, here we have a uh, Henderson fire vehicle. R97, rescue. Now we'll check back here in a minute. Let's go back up to the front. You should walk up and see what kind of signage they have on the doors. Uh, for those of you that follow our channels and for those of you who uh, don't, I am exercising my two-way today as well. Uh, so I will not be going on to uh, federal property for now. Uh, if the need arises, I can always go throw my friend back in the truck. But uh, Watchman is going to uh, take the lead and go up and see what kind of signs we have on the doors and see what's happening uh, a little closer up. Stand by. So Watchman is being approached by a uh, post office employee. So uh, not sure what the conversation was, but uh, <clears throat> we'll either find out in a minute from the watchman here or I will direct you to his channel to uh, take a look at his video and see for yourself. So I just want to point out to you guys, uh, it was an employee of the post office, I'm 99% sure, that came out and spoke to Watchman. Um, not sure what the conversation was there again, but I just want you to notice that numerous uh, customers have gone in and out and nobody said a word to either one of us. Um, so 
goes back to my point that I always like to make that the employees at these types of situations, uh, especially post offices and health departments and public facilities, are usually the ones that uh, set the match to the gasoline and set the whole thing off. Um, our experience is usually that customers are pretty cool. Maybe somebody will have a question here or there. Maybe somebody will say, I don't want to be on film. Uh, but the real trouble always starts when one of the employees decides to uh, become boisterous, make a stink about it in front of the customers, and then they feel like they're trying to back him up and uh, be do-gooders and do the right thing in their perceived, uh, in their perception. And uh, that's how things kind of go haywire sometimes. So uh, just want to point that out. Hey, yo, grab this. Come over here and get this. I'm not going to interrupt your conversation. <laughs> Damn, what are you guys up, up to? All I did is ask what you guys are doing. That's all I did. All I did was tell you I'm not interested in answering it. You want to have a whole uh, conversation? You kept here calling like me. I walked away from you twice, and you kept calling me back. Oh, I never told you to come. I back. walked away from him twice. He kept calling me back. He wanted you to kept have saying the last answer. You kept saying stuff on the way back in, so I kept saying stuff on the way back in too. A lot, a lot of people want to have the last answer, and it seems like you wanted to have the first answer too. So I just what do you? What do you? If he, if he wants to do something, you got his back. Why are you? Yeah. What's that supposed? Which one of us you picking? The you're the littler guy, so you can go for me. We'll let him handle the big guy. Why are you guys yeah. so angry? You're a dumbass. Like why are you guys? Like, you're you gonna like, threaten people? So you're gonna stand here and threaten people on camera? Saying I got his back and saying. Threatening? I said I got his back. That's not threatening. Fuck you guys out looking for trouble today? Right, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Calm calm down, just go back. Just calm go down, about your down. business, man. Be be a better man. Yeah, exactly. There you be go. Be a better man. There you go. Now you're wanting to make. Now you're making me upset. want to talk to you. Yeah, that's the way you ought to be. Get upset at strangers. Absolutely right, man. I appreciate you saying that. Why are you shaking? Threatening people make you nervous. Saying I got his back not a threat, you fucking moron. Well. Now you're going to really prove how smart you are? Say something else. You've said that four times. Say something different. Actually, I said it twice. Yeah. They're not a Well, you can count. So there you go. Good. Apparently you can count. you don't. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you have a nice day, sir. Appreciate you. Enjoy life. It's a beautiful day. Just curious. Yes, sir. What is it for? Just curious. Because I know people are beating up on each other. It's ridiculous, man. Well. I told my wife, we're going to be on camera. That's all I go, go to YouTube, right, and put in AMAG. AMAG. My channel will be the first one that pops up. Awesome. Hey, AMAG, man. You guys have a good day. Thank you, man. What did the uh, postal employee say to you? Oh, he walked up. He was like, oh, you, you need to leave the premises. You're not, uh, you're not allowed to do that here. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And just basically that back and forth. And he just went inside and left. He didn't say, oh, I'm going to call the cops, send my oh. supervisor out, or anything like that, nothing? No. And why was that other guy say you called him back twice? What was he talking about? Because he, he, uh, he kept going to go in and then... You, you'd be in the middle of talking, and I would say something back, and then he'd come out like, whoa. Yeah, I saw that. 
Yeah. yeah, he wants to make it out like you were the one looking for the problem on that one, right? Yeah. Amazing. There goes uh, City of Henderson Police. So we have uh, Henderson Police, plate number 369. 5800, 5880, excuse me. What's that? How are you doing? No, I was just reading off your plate number to the camera. Okay, what's going on? I don't know, what's going on with you? How are you today? I'm just uh, got a call of somebody with a gun. You got a call about somebody with a gun? Yes, sir. Does anybody have a gun on them, a holster, or what, just what's going on, I guess? Just standing out on the sidewalk taking some video. Okay. Yeah. You know all about that. Okay. Right? Can I ask your name and badge number just so I know I'm speaking with? Uh, Sergeant Dara, uh, badge number 1149. 1149, Dara, is it D-E-A-R-A? D-E-R-A. Great, very good. Yeah. yeah, so we're just, as I'm sure you're aware, people get upset by cameras these days for yeah. some reason. So we're on a public sidewalk taking some video. Okay. Yeah. Uh, who's up at the building? Is that they with you too? Who's up at the building? Yeah. Well, there was a couple of people. There was a couple of people that took their cameras out and started filming us. Okay, how many people are in your group is, I guess, what I'm asking. Well, I mean, I, you know, I'm just minding my business, staying on a public sidewalk. I don't know how many questions I want to choose to answer here. Okay, whatever you want to do. Yeah, we're, um, not, we're not bothering anybody. As long as you don't... Uh, no, I know all the rules. I know what I'm allowed to do, what I'm not allowed to do. Yeah, I don't even... I Honestly, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I don't need the explanation. I'm very familiar with the law. I know what, what the boundaries are, and I... What's your name? I don't cross them. That's another question I choose not to answer. Well, you just gotta identify yourself. You don't have to give me ID. You just have to give me a name. Why well, don't have to, why would I have to give you a name? Because that is the best thing. Well, only if I'm suspected of committing a crime. You can't just approach anybody on a public sidewalk and ask for their name. Can you revise? So are we good? Am I being detained? No, not being detained. Okay. Well, you have a good day. If I'm free to go, I'm free to stay too, right? Well, I appreciate you. Not trying to give you a hard time. Just trying you to. Absolutely are giving me hard time. No, I'm just trying to exercise my rights and be a free citizen. That's all. Absolutely. That's all I'm doing. I'm being cordial with you. I'm being respectful. Copy. We see that. Okay. Is there any issue with what I'm doing? I'm listening to the radio. I'm not talking to you. Oh, okay. Well, then have a good day. I'm sorry right, I bothered you. Care. All right. No. Who's this that we have parked in the street here? So this must be an undercover vehicle parked in the street. I don't want to cross here because uh, these guys will write me a jaywalking ticket, so I'm going to walk down to the corner. Parked in the middle of the street with no lights on, blocking uh, a lane of traffic and an entrance to a private parking lot, 63A819, Nevada. Well, that's the party here. I'm gonna go back across the street by the uh, post office. So he's going to go inside and speak to the postal employees. And I'm going to go find out what's going on myself. What I just want to go see what's happening. Yeah, but I mean, what were they uh, doing across the street over there? That was an undercover. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out whatever they're trying to figure out here.
Oh, thank you. What kind of uh, signs do we have here? Recommended in Spanish on that one, and that one says required. So I'm conflicting uh, signs. What if I only speak Spanish? Right? Maybe we should go with that. Okay, that's cool. Hey, how are you? <laughs> it's like the old days, you just gotta yell, hey mom, hi. Uh, mass or face coverings are required inside the lobby, is on this sign, but then it's true in Spanish in here, it says, mascaras o coberturas faciales son recomendadas dentro de nuestro lobby. So that means that they're recommended, recomendadas. So a Spanish-speaking person who reads this sign would understand that it's a recommendation. Just to see what they say. Oh, yeah, I get you. Oh, and those are the cameras. Yeah, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, we don't want to interrupt what you. What are those cameras for? Taking oh. video. <laughs> huh? Taking video. Oh, for other people, for your friends? Well, anybody that wants to uh, oh. take a look at beautiful uh, Henderson, Nevada today. Oh, well, I see. Yeah. Those are, I looked at those things that you were holding and they just, they look like a strange camera, you know, like a... Well, they've gotten so small these days. Yes, yeah. Yes, the, yes. the stick I hold it on is actually bigger than the camera. Oh. Yeah. So how are you today? You having a wonderful day? Well, enjoying the sunshine? Where are you from? Well, that was a question. Yeah, it was a question. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, well, you have a good day. Well, oh, oh so you, you can't answer it. Well, I asked you a question. You didn't want to answer it. Oh, what was the question? Oh, it's okay. No, no. It's all right. But you have a wonderful day. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Technology is fantastic. Well, it's right? certainly is. Yeah, might as well have fun with it. Yeah, well, yeah. you guys look like you're having more fun than when you were on the playground as children. You know what? I probably am having more fun yeah. now. Yeah, you know, getting older, there's a certain quality to getting older that I think is wonderful. Oh, my God. You wouldn't know about that yet. You're too young. Oh, yeah, you big fat liar. <laughs> big fat liar. No, no, it's, it's cool. Um... Camera work is very cool. No, but thank you. Thank you for smiling and being pleasant and having a nice day. I, enjoy, I yeah. appreciate that and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Well, I hope so. Thank you, ma'am. It's nice out. That sun feels good. Oh, and you know what, guys? Something I missed because I didn't see it. Always like to take a moment to recognize Old Glory waving in the breeze as she should. P-O-W-M-I-A, not forgotten. Never forget. So we all good? Okay. You know, treating people like that is what's creating the divide in this country between the citizens and law enforcement, and it's a shame. It's not necessary. And he's a sergeant too. Should know better. I can almost guarantee you what they're gonna do is try to trespass us off a of postal property. And you know what guys, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna do something different this time. I'm gonna let them and we're gonna sue the pants off of Henderson, Nevada. What do you think about that watchman? Yeah, no, we're always trying to be the good guys and not sue anybody and always trying to avoid those situations. Now, today we're going to do something different. If he comes out and wants my ID so he can formally trespass me, I'm going to allow him to do that. And then we'll see you in court. So hopefully that doesn't happen because I really don't want to do that, but uh, I'm going to let it happen today if it does. Stand by. Sorry? What are you guys doing? Oh, we're just, I, well, you know what, when I'm done, I got the police are here and everything. So yeah, when they're, when I'm done, if you're still here, I'd be happy to explain yeah, the whole yeah, thing to you. No, I'm okay. I'm just yeah, yeah. doing a YouTube. No, no, yeah, yeah, no, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, do you watch us? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't. You ever watch any First Amendment audits? Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'll see that shit on TV. Listen, though, it's a big government building and shit, they're going to try to trespass you guys. Well, that's all right, they can yeah. trespass me, and then I, then I win the big bucks, man. <laughs> it's all good with me. They want to violate my rights, they're going to have to pay for it. Hey, been there, man. Yeah, man. Well, right on. You have a blessed day, brother. You, brother. Appreciate you. Be interesting. Hit pause. Chime in in the comments and uh, make a prediction on which way you think this thing's going to go. Is the officer just going to get back in his car and leave? 
or are they actually going to trespass us? Chime in. And I'll tell you what, I'm putting this, this also reminds me again, and I'm gonna keep saying this over and over again. All you guys out there that are doing this First Amendment audit thing, step it up, man, and stop screwing around because you're making it hard for the rest of us. If you're out there doing the right thing, you're doing the good work, we appreciate you, we want you to do that. And if I can help out in any way, or if you can help me out in any way, I hope we can uh, coordinate and do that. But if you're out there stirring up trouble, just making it harder for the guys that are actually trying to affect some solid change, put your cameras up, man, and give it a rest. We don't need you out there. We're actually trying to uh, do something positive here. Say again? I'll give it to you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, pro just tell me you're not gonna give it to him. I'll give it to him when I'm done. I'm he, I make him wait. I'm leaving. I swear. You got your phone? Uh, yeah. Or do you know what you do? Go to YouTube, right? The first four letters, I'll pop right up. It'll be the first thing that pops up. What's the, what's the first four letters? A-M-A-G. A-N? A-M as in Mary. A-M-A-G. I'll be the first thing that pops up. Amagansett Press. You see it? I'm going to bring it up on this one. Okay. All right, buddy. You guys have a good day. Yeah, you too, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, stay safe. Keep your eye out for these fools. So see, that's an example of what happens when somebody has an open mind, their shoulders are down, and they just uh, are genuinely being inquisitive and want to know what's going on and just want to have a civil conversation. And I am always happy to have a civil conversation with just about anyone, just about anywhere, and just about any time. Um, but especially with law enforcement, they want to start acting the fool, man. I'm done with that instantly because you know where that's going to go. You're just, you know... A very wise man once said very, very long ago, once you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. And you, when you're talking to a police officer with that kind of an attitude, you're in a hole and you're digging it deeper. No, I don't want to be confrontational. I just don't want to surrender my rights voluntarily. That's, that's okay. all. I'm not just, if you take me as confrontational, if you just that's. Keep talking over me, then we're not going to talk. Okay? I'd rather not talk. I don't have any business this with you. This is a business. This is the business uh, representative of the federal post office here. Right? Okay. Stop filming because you don't have a waiver to film. I don't need a waiver. Listen, me. he doesn't want you on his property. If you refuse to leave, we're going to take you to jail. If you refuse to leave, we're going to take you to jail. I can either give you a citation. Right. So well, you're going to trespass sir. me from public property yes, without sir. committing a crime? Yes, sir. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Trespass me and I'll leave. Uh, Absolutely. You want to trespass me from private property? I'll, yes. give you my, I'll give you my identification, and then I'm going to sue the pants off of Henderson, That's Nevada. Me, man. Let me go get do, have, you, have you read the DHS memo from 2018 that gives me the right to do what I'm doing right now? So what, let me ask you a question. Are you telling me if I don't leave, I'm going to be arrested? Is that what you're telling me? If I don't leave, I'll I'm be arrested. You, you just said you... Out. So you're going to take me to jail if I don't leave? That's what I was told to do. All right, so under threat of arrest, I'm leaving. Okay? okay. Under threat of arrest and under duress, I'm leaving and keep your eyes out for the process server. Okay, are you threatening me? With a process server? Okay. That's legal. Sure, man. You know what a process server is. Don't act stupid with me. I told you I'm leaving. Okay, then leave. Okay, but I'm only leaving because you threatened me with arrest. Okay. Okay, so do you have a business card on you? I don't have a business card on me, but you have my name and ID right here. Okay. Can you give me your badge number one more time, please? 1149. Sir. 1149. Okay, yes. we'll see you in court. All right, take care. You got it, buddy. And I'm going to need his name, too. I want to know who... I which, can't get you that. I just want to know what representative asked me to leave. I, how do I know he really works for the post office? I need to know what your name is. And then I'm out of here. I'm telling you one more time. If you don't leave now, I'm going to trespass you or you're going to go to jail. Which you got you it. Well, I don't want to go to jail, so I'm going to okay. leave. Have a great day, Under sir. threat of arrest, I'm out. Have a great day, yep. sir. I'm walking. There's no, there's no speed limit, is there? I'm going. Just have a nice day, man. I'm not, you're going to have a bad day when we wind up in court. You just violated my rights. Yeah, you did. You did. And you're going to pay for it. Quali qualified immunity is a precious thing, man. Yeah, it is fine. And you're a sergeant. You should know better. So we'll see you in court. You have a wonderful day. So I told you this is the way we're going to do it this time, guys. I'm not going to stand my ground with this guy. I'm, I'm going to allow him to trespass me under threat of arrest. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to sue him in court. And now we're on a public sidewalk. And we're going to stand here for as long as we feel like it.
think I got the USPS guy's uh, badge on my video. You did? You got his info? Cool. Yeah, I think it was like J.C. M. Howard, I think it's said. J.C. M. Howard. Okay, cool. Very good. We are experiencing heavier than normal call volumes. There are you can't come back on for JC Howard and the, uh, the supervisor of the uh, postal service. If you come back on, we're going to arrest you. Okay. That's what you can do. Whatever you want. Okay. I have Department of Homeland Security on the phone. We're going to straighten it out with them. I've heard enough out of you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. I don't want to hear any. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. What's his name? Uh, Officer Dumbass is talking here. Bletcher. What's your name? Bletcher. Right, Officer Bletcher is talking and I'm not listening. I don't hear a word he's saying. And I'm going to deal with uh, Department of Homeland Security, so I can't hear a word he's saying. He just keeps on talking, just keeps on going. Listen, you're interrupting my phone call. You're harassing me. I'm on a public sidewalk. Get out of my face. Go fuck off. Dumbass. We're going to straighten you out, buddy. Go bark your orders to somebody that gives a crap. Tyrants found in Henderson, Nevada. Tyrants. You people are disgusting. You guys are the ones that get good police officers hurt every day. Police officers' blood is spilling because of you. Clowns like you. And we're going to straighten you out. I hate filing lawsuits. I have literally only sued one person in my entire life. Uh, one entity. And that was uh, Silverthorne, Colorado, which most of you are aware of. Um, beyond that, I don't sue people. I don't want to sue people. Not what I'm interested in doing. Uh, but we're going to go for it on this one. And if uh, Federal Protection Service, Homeland Security here doesn't answer in a minute, I'm going to uh, make this phone call on Monday, and there'll be a follow-up to this video. So we'll give it another minute or two. We'll see. We are experiencing heavier than normal call volumes. There are... Zero calls ahead of you. All right, guys, so since they keep saying zero calls in queue ahead of you and nobody's picking up, I'm going to assume that their office is not open to take calls today uh, because it's Saturday. Uh, but I will definitely be following up with this on Monday. And, uh, you know, we want to uh, find out what happens if we don't turn into the nice guys here and we just uh, allow them to screw up and allow them to violate our rights and make the mistake. And then we're going to uh, hold them to the flames and we're going to hold them accountable. Um, I have a very good attorney, and we'll uh, take it from there. So, all right, so I guess that's going to wrap this one up here today, guys. Um, big mistake by these folks, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to stand here and get arrested. Um, this cop was obviously a tyrant, obviously wanted to lock me up, and wasn't interested in hearing about my rights, the law, nothing. He just decided because that one guy who feels like he's in charge of our post office didn't want me here, uh, that that was enough for him to trespass me from the property. So I firmly believe my rights were violated. I believe that uh, we were trespassed unlawfully uh, without any kind of a justification, uh, no suspicion of any crime or illegal activity. Uh, we definitely did not break the law and uh, I think our rights were just violated. So we're gonna pursue it that way. I'm gonna get in contact with my attorney today, uh, get guidance from him, but then we're gonna follow up and uh, handle it that way so that's going to wrap it up for now there's definitely going to be a part two to this one and uh could be a part three and a part four i don't know we'll see how it goes but uh i'm not going to get locked up today i want to stay out in the open be able to do more audits for you guys get more content speak to more police officers who are worthy to speak to and i wasn't kidding what i said to him man it's guys like this that get the good cops hurt and it sucks it's absolutely awful. And all you good police officers out there, if you're watching this crap, don't behave this way. Uh, this guy's a sergeant, man. He should know better. And uh, he shouldn't be behaving like that. And he shouldn't be acting that way. He should have got all the information, um, looked into what the law is, found out what it is, and upheld my rights and upheld the law. And he chose not to do that here today, and he's going to pay for it. Um, and that's it. So I'm putting out a call to all the good police officers out there who consider themselves to be the good guys. I want to remind you of what a good officer's worst enemy is in this world, a bad cop. Keep your eyes out, God, because we rely on you to police these fools that act like this. It's not right. Uh, this just widens the divide between the citizenry and law enforcement in this country and creates more problems. Nothing was solved here today. 
Nothing was solved here today. All that happened here today is a couple of American citizens got their rights violated. A couple of clown employees here at the post office got their false beliefs reinforced. Um, and this could set somebody up for a disaster here one day. Um, so we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen in whatever way we can. Um, but that's it. So for now, uh, oh, and before I forget, I always like to remind you guys, if you like our videos, you enjoy what we do, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff does wonders for our channels, uh, gets our videos out to more people so more people can watch them, enjoy them, and hopefully learn a little something from them. Um, I know we're out here learning something new every day. Uh, the learning never ends, but um, that's it. So coming to you today from, oh, and also before I forget, I invite you to do the same for watching The Watchman. Kid's doing great, he's really coming into his own. Uh, just hit 45,000 subscribers not long ago. Gets a lot of info and video footage and stuff on his uh, on his camera that I don't get on mine. You saw he was up by the front, the conversations he was having with people. So I'll leave a link in the uh, description to his video. Take a look at it and you'll get to see what went on up there. Um, but that's it. So we're going to hop back in the truck, head down the road, probably find some lunch and uh, carry on. The day is young. So coming to you from Henderson, Nevada. I mean, these guys, instead of doing this garbage, they should be out picking up the garbage that's in the street. This place is filthy. Um, not right here on the post office property, but besides that, um, maybe those guys should give up their badges and go join Public Works and do something for the community. But in any event, that's it. So we're out watching a watchman. Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.